thanks to One Size Beauty, they have gifted me the Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, the Beauty Blur Balm. So the shade that I got is Medium 2, which is medium with rosy undertone. I like that it's a plastic squeezy tube, so that's awesome, so you can get all your product out. And... Total side note, I feel like just saying BB cream a lot because I use the Maybelline BB cream like all the time. So I have to remember to put that extra B in here. So, woo, we have a lot of promises here. Let's go over it. Acts as a tint, which is dries down to a velvety marshmallow finish for a seamless tinted coverage with skin light treated pigments. Texture, be gone. Hmm, let's see about that. Well, according to directions, you should apply with your fingers. And I still use a my little sponge. This is by Juno & Co. Okay, it has a little bit of thickness to it. And let's see here. I do have some coverage. This is all with one pump, okay? And I'm only doing one half of my face. Just to see how it covers, how it works with my texture. As, as you can see earlier, my little blemish there. The coverage is nice, but it is showing a lot of texture. <laughs> um, yeah, usually I don't have BB creams or even foundation that shows texture like this. Actually, on this side, use my fingers and see if there's a difference. Okay, here we go. Here. As far as the coverage, the coverage is showing up the same. And I have to say, it does look better that since I applied it with my fingers, so that's definitely the best way to go. Um, I'm still seeing some texture though, but the coverage, the coverage is really nice. Okay, so final thoughts. I like the product, but I don't love the product. The thing is, the product made a lot of promises, so I had high expectations. The pros is that, for a skin tint, because that's basically what it is, it actually covers pretty good. I do love that. And when it dries down, it does dry down like a velvety finish. I am dry to combination skin. When it dries down to a matte finish, usually it shows up texture on someone who's usually dry. Even though I did moisturize, I did for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the undertones need to be worked on a little bit. It says that it was a medium with rosy undertones. And to me, it looks kind of yellow. I usually my other foundations don't do that. So overall, I do give this a 7 out of 10. This is something that you use that you need to go run an errand, not for something to go out for a special occasion. Definitely not. Not in my opinion. But overall, it's pretty good. And I think it will work really well with someone who is more on the oilier side and that doesn't have a lot of texture. I think it will work perfect. So thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.